Hey there, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm sharing a story that's been ongoing for over the past six months. It all started when my wife, Vicky, had an affair with a co-worker. It started as an emotional affair, then grew to a full-blown physical affair where she claimed they fell in love and were soulmates. Quite a cliché, right? She decided to confess to me one weekend and dropped the bombshell that she was moving out of our condo. I was completely blindsided, but I didn't want to force someone to stay with me if they didn't love me anymore. It hurt, but I accepted her decision. Over the next six months, we started the process of separating our lives. Joint accounts, credit cards, and all the typical stuff that comes with a divorce. I filed for divorce first, and for some reason that seemed to anger her. She got herself a lawyer to work out the division of assets, claiming it would make things painless. Throughout this time, we didn't see each other at all, and our communication was limited to text or email. I have a daughter from a previous relationship, and Vicky had always been close to her. She expressed her desire to stay in my daughter's life, which I agreed to because I didn't want my child to suffer due to our issues. However, Vicky missed a few visits with my daughter, and it really hurt her. I decided to halt the visits until she could keep her promises, which caused some tension but was eventually resolved. During these six months, my life became monotonous. Work, spending time with my daughter, and little else. I was in a funk, barely going out other than to the gym or with my daughter. However, everything changed this past weekend when my younger sister and her fiancé convinced me to come out of my hermit shell and enjoy life. We went out with her friends and I ended up hooking up with one of them. It turns out she had a crush on me for years, but circumstances never allowed anything to happen before. We spent all of Saturday together, and it was the best weekend I've had in forever. Not just because of the physical aspect, but because I finally felt like myself again. Then this morning, I woke up to a barrage of voicemails and texts from Vicky, raging at me and calling me a hypocrite. She even accused me of hooking up with my sister's friend during our marriage. It's pure insanity on her part. I talked to my sister, and she checked Vicky's social media, only to find that she's playing the victim, painting me as the bad guy. Her posts go something like, when your friend catches your husband out with another woman while he's trying to save his marriage. It's mind-boggling how she's twisting the narrative. I couldn't stay silent anymore, so I responded to one of her texts, stating, were you trying to save our marriage when you were sucking off your co-worker on lunch breaks? Maybe it wasn't the wisest move, but at this point I'm fed up. She continued to play the victim and spew more nonsense, but I refused to engage further. Honestly, I'm at a loss for words. Has she completely lost her mind? How can she be so blind to her own actions and still try to blame me for everything? It's frustrating and infuriating. If anyone has been through something similar or has advice on how to deal with such a situation, I'd appreciate any insights. Thanks for your time. Be good to each other.